Hello and welcome back to our Curse Plays Crusader Kings 3. Alright. So, I've been wondering and wondering because uh, over here in Scotland and Wales, uh, we actually managed to uh, take first place in our elections for the next monarch. And in the case of. Scotland here, it is unanimous. In Alba, it's unanimous, and that's a lot of electors for it to be unanimous. When we go to Wales, it is also unanimous. The Kingdom of England is really the only one where it isn't. So... And I am going to have to land my son at some point. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take this county here of Orkney. And I'm going to go ahead and land him. And we'll see how that affects things. So. Let's find my rally point. And... He has an unwanted daughter, so he could probably get an alliance after we declare on him. That's right. I... Oh, okay. I gotcha. That's right. Another part of being... Uh, of being feudal is now I have to have an actual Cassius, uh, Cassius Belly to declare war. I can't just declare war willy-nilly as I could when I was tribal. So, I'm going to have to go to my council, and we're going to finally have to use Fabricate Claims, and, uh... Let's see... Where are you converting faith at? You're converting faith here. This will take approximately a year, and we'll have to pay gold for it. So we have to be prepared for that. I can also create the Duchy of Man. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'm actually going to grant it to my son, so that he'd technically be landed. Um, let's sort by opinion of me. Can I not grant a title to you? Some moments must be recorded forever. The time that my friend Duke Mer mailed to lie of the Isles died under mysterious circumstances is one of them. It might be a painful memory, but someone has to pass it on to the next generation. My master of the Godaic language would make penning this a trivial manner. Assembling and illustrating the tome can become a costly endeavor, however. I'll record it myself. Ah, so I can only give him counties. Okay. Oh, okay. It's because, uh... I can only give him things, um that I own that aren't my realm capital. So I can't give him the petty kingdom of man. You know what? I'll give you... I'll give that to you. Hostile scheme resistance. No. 
Okay. Increase control is done. We did some swaying. Uh, let's do some disrupt schemes. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm actually going to give this to my wife because she's the target of schemes. So let's go into my inventory. That's ah, because I'm holding it. I'm going to swap that for that. Is there a way I can gift this? I know there is. Let's see. Let's gift an artifact. Let's choose an artifact. It's gonna be the animal figurine. There we go. Yeah, I've got her on patronage. Working on mods. 26 years. And we can't even start researching any of these for another 21 years. So. Eventually, do want to pick up all these. Do we have any cultural? Okay. But we'll have plenty of gold. These factions gain and lose military power quite quickly. Like, I was checking out these military power just before the, the stream, the, not the stream, just before the recording, and they were almost, uh, far enough to, uh, ooh, they were almost far enough to, uh, centralization, development, growth, and capital, yes. What is our capital development like? There's no end to the opinions and wants my son and Antonius. Half the time he's trying to tell me what to do and set the other way around. Ah, he is bossy, which can give him marshal and stewardship. So we have development of 13 here. Antonius was trying to give you an intrigue, but I think stewardship would be better. This one just gives me dread. Something I've been thinking about doing for uh, secession here, because I'm still only rank two, and most of that comes from Imperial Dignity. Influential vassal. So this is the this is the big one. So if he grows up, he's going to get 90 more, which is going to put him at 
60, which is greater than 45, if I can land him. That'll help make that uh, possible. Hopefully I have enough gold for this. Yep, 69 gold to get a claim on Orkney. I'll pay that. And now, we can declare war for my claim. He has no allies, however he can gain one. This still costs us prestige. So, I'll just raise my men-at-arms. They should be more than good enough for this. Let's go back to my council. Let's go with control. win even though we're uh, going to be getting a counter here. Just stack wipe their army except for their uh, except for their knights. Oh. Two of their knights died. to designate a guardian for her. She's Catholic and French, so she might learn French. No, we're not converting faith or culture. Excellent. Four level four. Yeah, it's because they have mots. Uh, mots raise your fort level, uh, which is uh, this bar here. So uh, my alliance expired. My arranged alliance has expired. But I'm still uh, allied with the important one. But let's check our factions, because that means a lot more people can join factions. Right, these didn't really go up. Ah, that's when I had a faith of gold. Of course. Actually, uh, it costs 10 gold to keep my army up, and I'm still making money. Okay, I'm getting him swayed. The twists and turns of fate have not always been to my advantage. God knows that I was cursed the day I met Corpair. Corpair. Today... That cur However, that curse has been lifted. Fate has smiled upon me and brought that brooding fool to his grave. Force demands. Alright, so. Let's expand my army. There's low control, so I'm actually going to 
change you to here. And I'm going to grant this to my son if it lets me. Sort by opinion of me. So my son ought to be up here. Here it is. Yes. Alright. So, grant that title. He's landed. Ransom that person. Let's see how this changes their opinions of me. He's a mere count. So that only actually reduced it by 15. change Prince Antonius's contract. I am not going to. This is my son. Ah, he has come to, uh... Good, good. A prisoner has died in my dungeons. Oh, well. Check our prisoners. You would be released for a favor. Okay. I'll have you renounce your claims and you can be gone. Demand conversion and you can be gone. They'll all take favors. You'll not accept a conversion. You'll not accept a conversion. All right. Stuff's being done, uh, getting constructed. Fields. Temple. Trade ports. Yeah, I really need uh, bots. Anything for those. We need a trade port. Okay, you have a temple, which is good. Guilds and trade port. Nice. Following the death of Lord Lefeith, I asked my daughter Elizabeth what she thought. She claimed she had learned a lesson about not reaching for more than one can handle. Yes.
She must be taught the proper execution of the law. Increased military presence. What are my council doing? Ah, my wife is pregnant again. Alright, let's go ahead and start converting Faith and County again. Seeker has reached the light of day. My vassal Yard Ragnar has calculated with his lover Bjordfled. Such things cannot be. He likes me. This crime cannot go unpunished. You have to continue to uh, eliminate Catholicism in our lands. Oh, let's see. Disaster lightning raid by Grandmaster Skilder of the Yorms Vikings of Remain threatens to set out the count county ablaze. Fundamental assess the true and says pirates consider Christianity to be a threat to their way of life. Or the merely gathering plunder. The Reavers are slaughtering priors, burning abbeys, and screaming bloody murder about their false gods. There's no time to race an army. I can strike with whatever force I have in hand, or I can grip my teeth to Let's see. Grab whoever we have. Oh, that was the bad, uh... That was the bad end there. Let's, uh... Let's continue changing here. War declared by the Northman Conquest of the Duchy of Moray. Alright. Low county control. In one of my territories, too. Negotiating alliance. I thought, I thought I created this duchy. I can transfer vassal. I'll do so. Oh, I know why. Darn it. I never granted it to anybody. Um, uh, you like me. There we go. Okay. You guys are in fighting down there. Not when we have such a uh, fine base prowess three. This also gives me raid speed, but. Okay. Let's move the rally point somewhere a little bit more. Um, let's check this. He has 9,000 soldiers. I should be able to beat him. learning the, uh, it's learning French, essentially. Maybe ally joins war. So somehow he now has less? Wow. Well. 
Go back to the frozen hellscape from which you came. I'm gonna call on my ally. And wait. Alright. There they are. So we're gonna move this closer. Because they're up here. Gather our forces. There we go. And now, popular figurehead, popular opinion. Yes, another son. You will be Luke the Second. They're going to get straight crossing penalty for this. Alright, so if we look here, we're defending a straight crossing, which is giving us a plus 30. Which is going to allow us to easily uh, win this. Alright. Let's disband our army. My master discovers a secret. An attempted murder secret. I could blackmail for a strong hook. Oh, that's my mother. Oh, she attempted to murder this guy. Who was this guy? He was a nobody. Nah, I'll keep this secret. These uh, schemes aren't making any uh, any headway, which is good. He's positive of me now. An acquaintance of mine died. We captured some enemy combatants. Let's go to my jail. Prisoners. Oh, it's just these two. Oh, you have no house. Will you convert? No. I'll have him executed then. Let's see, what bonuses can I get here? I mean, this one could get me a lot of diplomacy. Is there anything that could get me a lot of learning? Construction time. Control growth. something going on in our court was this new artifact it looks like
Oh, he's rank one. Whose opinions did I change? Lothian, York. Him. And him down here. Hmm. Yeah, he ch he changed his mind. It looks like we are just barely. Um. We're just barely scratching by uh, with Duke McEagle of Cornwall. He's the one who changed his mind. He tipped everything in my favor. Yeah. I'm gonna have to uh, keep an eye on that. You know, I think... Claimants. These two have claims on it. My half-brother and my half-sister. Wandering. Guest, guest, wandering. I'm probably gonna let those break. I'm invited to a, to a court. She likes me. Warwick? Sure, I'll go. Every guest is gathered at the Great Hall, and our gracious host, Duchess Kung Fu, has welcomed us all to feast. Better be worth my time. Ooh. We got some more things coming up. The pleading gaze I received from one of my acquaintance, Detlef, is taking on a desperate tone. A group of guests are approaching a corner, and he has hid all evening, and the walls are hindering his escape. To think an unlanded would act in such a way, he is a bishop. I guess I'll distract the guests. That'll give me a hook. Schemer discovered. Spy master come to me with great news. It is Pierre, the son and heir of Duke Pierre of Languedoc that is plying against my wife. Okay. Sp spineless fiend. My spy master's coming to be great news. Well, we do not have someone. Yes. So there are two people plotting to kill my wife at the moment. Ooh. I do like this one. Spend the money on that one. And the Macadon Mail is also pretty good. <coughs> okay. I need to get all of my... So these are my powerful vassals that basically have a problem with me. And for me to declare the decision, reclaim Britannia... They also, they have to have a, a culture similar with mine. Ormond changes to Irish. Is Ormond not Irish? It's Irish. Alright, 
So now that we're feudal, and now that we're, um, now that we're feudal and we have basically all of England, uh, a lot of our, like, I'm going to be focusing a lot, um, inside my, uh, my, my country, uh, to really help with things. So, um, we're not going to be able to do that for a while. Check out, see what my council is doing. The feast is dwindling down, and I find myself deep in conversation with my pompous vassal, Earl Wolf. He inquires about my opinion on the blessings of a family, a subject he's deeply interested in himself. So, I could form a rivalry. I'm more interested in you. Let's get some more, um,. Let's get some more, uh... We could all tell Earl Colwood has had too much to drink, even though he insisted on showing us how sober he was. Simply rising from his seat, you're too much for him, and I'm covered, stinking vomit. Yeah, these are great opportunities to improve people's, uh, opinion of us. So I'll go ahead and... I have way more prestige. What a feast. I'll remember the days spent in her halls for a long time to come. It's time to wash off the trace of merriment and wine and resume my duties. Yeah, and that relieves stress. So, I'm now no longer stressed. Okay, what are you doing? Control and County, Orkney. Show him in. Get the renown. Court grandeur. Oh, he's in Wee Main. Okay. Yeah, he needs to uh, help in my small harbors constructed in Ennis. Good, good. Let's get increase. Uh, <laughs> let's increase that monthly income. Next thing we can do is get the wetland farms. Oh, we spent a little bit more gold than I should have. Person can be sponsored, my wife. Days go by without it even crossing my mind, but each time I catch him as I at court, I can think of nothing but her crimes. Oh, this is my mom. Wonder how many court now? Perhaps none, perhaps all. The truth will eventually out eventually. It will not do with my reputation to make such scandals, my courtiers' bits. There's no need to act yet. Inspiration wants to forge regalia. We're gonna go ahead and sponsor that. Three gold. We're gonna get some pop ups for that. Enthusiastic conversions. Yes. My wife is pregnant again. I'm going to have many children. That's gonna be good. Holy order hired. Yams Vikings. I never expected I was I would grow as close to Duke we've seen as I have done in the past few years. On multiple occasions he's proven himself to be a reliable and forthright man, with only my best interests at heart. My Chancellor and Vassal. It's so weird to find a true friend. Yep. Beneficiary, Anastasia, approaches me with a frown, burnt eyebrows, and some bent mouth. My lord, I mean this no disrespect, but this forge of yours, let's say if you want the regalia to be all elegant, you're gonna have to invest in a new one. I can afford it. Got 
that's going on. Let's pause things for a little bit. I want a scheme. So, I really want Rule Britannia. Oh, I have a prisoner. Oh, it's her. Um, will you convert? No. Well, too bad for you. Well, yeah, my vassals are here. So, feudal vassals. So, anyone who's a powerful vassal, uh, he's Catholic and Anglo-Saxon. I cannot demand a conversion out of him yet. He's insular and Irish. Catholic and French, eighth of wine. Duke Rodri is insular and Welsh. Let's take a look at this. Oh, open this dynasty tree. Alright. So if he dies, who does this go to? Does it go to him? Oh, that's my cousin, who's insular and Anglo Saxon, which I don't exactly like. And then maybe him. With an insular and Welsh. Yeah. We're looking at Duke Rotary here. I'm just not good at scheming. This character isn't. I wonder if I could Offer guardianship between. someone who is insular and Irish. Between. yeah. these two. and convert culture. This is the way I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to pay attention to his son, to his children. What I'm really looking for is one's um, my Goswine here, whose heirs uh, who have male children. Whom I can get a guardianship with. And convert the culture. Because this guy is his heir. Which means this is his heir. And if we can change his sons um, if we can change his sons to Irish So if we can change his sons to Irish when they take the throne, uh, they will be powerful vassals.
Alright, so his primary error is 12. Yep, this is, uh... This is going to help me. Insular Irish, Insular Irish, Insular Gaelic. He only has a daughter. And she's Insular and Irish. Okay. So that works for me. Now we're getting into non-powerful vassals. So insular, Anglo-Saxon. Ooh, lots of kids. You're already 20. Let all those fire. That ought to really help me in the next couple of generations. And if all of those go by well, uh, we can just uh, start running some murder schemes uh, to. Uh, how would I put it? We'd start running some uh, some murder schemes to increase. Yeah. To increase. Uh, you know the rate of inheritance. I'm drinking alone in the tavern where I suddenly see my friend, Duke Athelbert, sit down across from me. I quickly make my way over and we spend the rest of the night drinking together. He really knows how to good, have a good time. Okay. Following tar faction targeting you has disbanded faction to install Countess Elflet of Oxshire on the English throne. Excellent. I love it when factions go away. So he likes me. He doesn't. So I'm going to go ahead and sway him. So that's excellent. Come on, domain focus. We're going to get divided attention next. Let's see what my council's up to. You have two years left there, two years left there. Oh, you're not promoting culture. So long. This is Cornish culture, Welsh culture. I don't want my son to change, so that's what we're going to do there. You're doing foreign affairs. Still royal favor. Ah, pressing F1. Well, I mean to press escape. Okay. New person can be sponsored. Wants to go to Northern Africa. He's considered a master by his peers. Person is competent. Let's keep our uh, let's keep our money together. My lord, look at that metal! I've never seen such fine quality before. My beneficiary, Athanasia, breaks away from our market pro procession to accost the merchant selling the coveted item, ecstatic to order her find. With this, my project will reach new heights. I could create something truly marvelous. Please, Emperor, bestow this gift upon me.
So regardless, it would be at a higher quality. I'm gonna invest in this project. In for a penny, in for a pound. I'll be out of debt in four months. Dugaithal Line and Duchess Len are among the most powerful vassals of my realm. I never know how to keep them happy. If they go, so if they go, don't go around stirring up trouble. Perhaps flattery is the way to go. Anyone would be pleased to have something made in their name, wouldn't they? Athelwine already. Ooh. He doesn't like me very much, but she does. You know what? I am going to dedicate it to Athelwine and Lan. Yeah, I'm trying to sway him as well. What are you, what are you guys doing up here? Uh, yeah, they're trying to unite their duchies. Give me gold. Everything was worth it. I'm gonna inspire this one. Man, some of these realms are, uh... Another sun. Give him a good insular name. Abraham. Inspiration funded. Time has come for me to part of my adventure, my emperor. My beneficiary, Don, bows as well as, well as he can while weighted down by heavy bags. Before I leave, please tell me, is there anything specific you want me to keep an eye out peeled for? Trust your instincts to bring me something great. Okay, still number one in Ireland. Still number one in Alba. Number one in Wales. Yes. Excellent. Oh. My, uh... My mother died. Of old age. Can lands were constructed? Our court physician. Okay. Well, let's give Helga Van Hessen a, uh... And I should hold court. That's available, so I will do so. We've heard this one many times. It's a gesture for the line to approach. The air is thick with anticipation as my vassal, Duchess Lan, approaches me. My lord, I've come with grave news, but a solution to fix this problem. I do like people who try to present uh, solutions when they bring up problems. It's become increasingly clear that the Gales and Irish are becoming more, perhaps even too similar. It's paramount that we show them that it's us, Irish, who are at the forefront of innovation. Oh, this will help give us give her it's host a festival to celebrate our rich Irish culture. My vassal, Duke Ada, takes a turn bending my ear before the assembled court. Glorious liege, give me the honor of representing your royal majesty in affairs of honor. I will not let you down. I suppose these jobs have to be done by somebody. Who are you? He's a vassal. He's one of my knights. He has 14 prowess. He likes me. And he can become my personal champion. Yeah, he's pretty good at that. Granted. The peasant in front of me seems to explode with excitement. My lord, the miracles, the holiness, we have been blessed. His enthusiastic ramblings are confusing, but I finally get the gist of it. He wants me to sponsor the cult of a local saint who has recently died in Raider Gwyn. 
Gwyn was a miracle maker in life, known for chasing away Satan with a whip and preaching to the birds. This tomb is attracting devoted visitors from all over the realm. Hmm. Oh, control level there will go up. Makes Raider Gwyn a temple holding. Not created. Oh, this will just create a temple holding. Yeah. That was a free temple holding. That's, you know... I mean, they're free anyway, but, uh... These guys... These guys up here... Some of the stuff I've been building has been finishing. So the crop fields there are done. I think we're constructing something here. Ah, yeah. Crop fields. Five months left. Don't have mots. Don't have barracks. Don't have crop rotation. Okay, he's no longer my personal champion for some reason. Okay. Letting the game run. Okay. 21 months left on that. 19 months left there. Ooh, nine years. Following the death sentence of the lowly thief, I asked my daughter Elizabeth what she thought. Yeah, overreaching can be terribly dangerous. It is better to be temperate, I think, than to be cynical. Oh no, for her. I think cynical. They're not really doing anything. My beneficiary, Anastasia, insists that the funds I have supplied with her are not enough to create an artifact worthy of my stature. Come on. 50 more gold. Vermin have infested sem several granaries, destroying the grain seeds stored in them. With nothing to plan for the next year's crops, the free tenants living there have come to me asking for aid. Given their dire situation, these farmers will, be, will ultimately be forced to accept. Popular opinion's good. That's 200. Command the priors. Give them charity. I do have plenty of uh, piety. I hope this regular is good. I've invested... Let's click to view. 358 gold in it. My liege, the adventurer Don sends word. The servant exclaims, holding out a letter. For 10 days and 10 nights, me and my party have been hiding... Bandit Lord pa Pagalan has sent a blockade on the road we must travel. What do you advise? Caution? Or should we find them, fight them, trusting God to keep us safe? Signed, Don. back, but 
want to make for an accomplished commander. Ooh. She converted to culture. My metalsmith. Athanasia. Updates me on her progress. Droning about the limits of tongs and bellows. My mind reels with bold ideas for my reg regalia. <coughs> Making may not be my personal forte, but that doesn't mean I can't have a say in how my money is spent. I have a few suggestions. There are wars going on within my lands, and I don't like it. That bitch, she took my money and ran. Actually, I need a crown. I'm gonna put money into this. All right, he was swayed. He's, he's uh, he's coming over. He's coming along. If I can get him to like me enough, I can get him to just leave this. And that'll force that faction to disband. Meanwhile, I pay attention to what my... Let's go a little bit faster. We're doing foreign affairs. I would like you to do domestic affairs, actually. Duke Aethelwine and Duchess Lan are amongst the power most powerful Yes. Can we not integrate that title? Ooh. Obliges in yeah, sure. New stewardship. Divided attention. Higher domain limit that I can't really do anything with. My cousin's been. My leash, my journey from Africa. I've joined a camel train traversing the width of the land. I'll send you a piece of jewelry one of my fellow travelers granted me. The most delicate necklace cut covered in ostrich shell beads. I suppose you haven't seen an ostrich. Through this, we can actually see what it does. Ah, attraction opinion. I will give it to the Empress. It wasn't very good. So I don't want to worry about it. Guest has arrived. Over here, my lord, my beneficiary. Nathnad waits me over with a wide grin. I've tooled many days and nights, and finally my work is done. She presents me with an object wrapped in cloths. I lift the fabric to my brow. Okay, some prestige and raises vassal limit. Alright. I'll wear it. I still have no regalia. My lord, a message from your adventurer, Don. My search has led me to the dry lands of Hialala. They are notoriously lion infested, but I have good reason to think my goal is near. Expect my return soon. This knowledge should be enough to keep him safe. I was watching Elizabeth play with the other children when Anandur tried to push her over. The moment did not last long, as Elizabeth soon had made an entirely new game out of it and forgotten the previous game entirely. They can make her wrathful. 
Just learn to turn the other cheek. Cousins released, cattle lines is made, my income's going up. Excellent. Yes. Ah, he's gonna give me gold, I like that. And more renown. I suppose because I make a ton of gold now. Okay, task finished. Increase counting control is done. Excellent. We can increase control. Elsewhere in my domain. What are you guys doing? Three months left on convert faith. He's getting swayed quite well. Not enough to leave the faction, though. Yeah, I'll grant the vassal. I can create the Duchy of Man again. grant this to somebody uh, younger. Like to you. This this has a good chance of uh, not coming back to me. Designate a guardian. Nathad. There we go. Nearly decent. Competent. Competent. Nope. Not doing any of those. Alright. Uh, so it looks like we got a war down here. We're going to have to do something about that. Uh, we've been building up quite a bit in our lands. And going to our culture here. It's still going to be 20 years uh, before. Um, before we get mots done. After mots, I'm gonna want crop rotations, which will take probably another 20 years. 26. So, anyways. Thank you for watching. This is Sarkuris, signing off.